stock market crash, three factors making a strong case for sell-off in 2018. This is why a stock market crash could be ahead. Warning, don't get too complacent with soaring key stock indices. A stock market crash remains a possibility for 2018. There are three things investors need to keep in mind going into 2018, stock buybacks, investors euphoria, and price escalation. S&P 500 companies buy immense amounts of their own shares. You see, over the past few years, there has been an invisible hand that has been supporting the stock markets. Stock buybacks by the companies on the key stock indices. Thanks to low interest rates, companies were able to borrow money and buy their own stocks. Consider this, for example, between the second quarter of 2012 and the second quarter of 2017, S&P 500 companies spent a little over $2.7 trillion on buybacks. The trillion figure is not a misprint. How significant is $2.7 trillion? This is similar to the gross domestic product GDP of the United Kingdom. Now, interest rates are increasing. Will the companies continue to buy their own stocks like they have been over the past five years or so? It wouldn't be shocking if companies reduce their spending on buybacks. With all this said, remember that if stock buybacks decline, major buyers will suddenly be out of the market. This could make a lot of investors worried and we could see losses. Investors' euphoria continues to soar. As markets continue to soar, investor euphoria keeps on climbing. Mind you, euphoria is one of the best indicators of an upcoming stock market crash. Just look at the chart below. It plots the percentage of bullish respondents from the American Association of Individual Investors Investor Sentiment Survey. In the last decade, investors have never been as bullish on stocks as they are now. In the most recent survey, 59.8% of all respondents said they were bullish on the stock market. The last time this figure was this high was back in 2003. Extreme price escalation on key stock indices. Look at the price action on the markets, too. We are seeing them increase way too quickly. This has been mentioned here before. It's usually the last phase of the bull market when there's a rapid move to the upside. Consider the Dow Jones Industrial Average chart below, there are two things to notice here. First, the trend on the Dow between 2009 and 2016 was very gradual. Since early 2016, it has just taken off. The index increased 9,000 points between 2016 and now an extremely quick rise relative to historical performance. Second, between January 2016 and December 2017, there were only four months when the Dow Jones Industrial Average declined. This says there's really no resistance. What's ahead for the stock market? I completely understand that any talk of a stock market crash at this point, when key stock indices are soaring, sounds outright irrational. But, as I said earlier, don't get too complacent. Dear reader, I continue to ask one question, could the Dow Jones Industrial Average double in the next eight years? Sadly, I don't see it happening. Before there's a massive rally, we could see a stock market crash. As I see it, this is not the time to get bullish on stocks. Rather, it's time to get cautious, step back a little, and reflect on what is happening. Warren Buffett indicator predicts stock market crash in 2018. On October 31st, Halloween. Children and adults alike enjoy playing with the frightful themes of death surrounding the feast's mixture of Christian All Saints Day and Celtic pagan origins. But, in 2017, if you are one of millions of people who have investments, here's something all too real and scary to rob you of your sleep. This Warren Buffett indicator predicts a stock market crash in 2018. You might be wondering if we've endured one too many ghost apparitions. To suggest that no less than Warren Buffett, whose net worth is north of $80 billion, expects the market to reverse its bullish course seems not just scary, it seems silly. But Warren Buffett's predictions for 2018 call for at least a market correction if not an outright crash. A famous Warren Buffett motto that applies to investing is that investors should be greedy when others are fearful and fearful when others are greedy. Only unbridled.
and most likely irresponsible, Euphoria has been driving the Dow to exceed 23,300 points in these last few weeks of 2017. According to Buffett's motto, a majority of investors are all but fearful. They are positively ravenous with greed. Therefore, this is no time for the wise to be betting their savings in the stock market. This is no time to gamble. This is a time for contemplation. Reflect on the wealth you have and keep it. Don't gamble it away. Indeed, to describe the present scenario, it would be an insult to call it a market. It's much more a casino. And this is where Warren Buffett's warnings become important. It's not so much Warren Buffett's predictions for 2018 that count. Buffett tends to make longer-term analyses. For example, his latest major prediction is that the Dow Jones could hit 1 million points in 2118. That's well over 40 times the current numbers. Buffett is being optimistic. In fact, if history can offer any lessons, note that the Dow Jones 100 years ago, in 1917, stood at 1,328 points. That would be less than 20 times the current numbers. But Buffett probably doesn't have to worry too much about the events that may or may not occur in the 22nd century. Now, as far as the present is concerned, you can be sure that Buffett chooses his words and predictions more carefully, as it were. Thus, Buffett has not said anything specific to the effect of the stock market will crash in 2018. He doesn't have to make any such statement. An expert prediction is just that, a prediction. The smarter the expert, the less tendency there is to trust forecasts and prophecies. But if you use the expert prediction as a guide to understand what's happening, you can detect trends. Thus, you can prepare and take appropriate actions that will not leave you stranded. If the negative predictions do materialize, you can take comfort in the fact you were ready. If they don't, you can enjoy the favorable outcome with everyone else. One of the reasons Warren Buffett's predictions tend to have more weight is that they're less based on outright fortune-telling and more on a series of clear indicators. In other words, the Warren Buffett indicator works like a barometer. It does not predict rain, per se, but it does tell you whether you should look for an umbrella in the closet to keep it handy for the next day. The Warren Buffett indicator is less mysterious than it sounds. It might as well be called the common sense indicator. It's simply the relationship between gross domestic product GDP or the sum total of a country's economic activity and the value of stocks in the S&P 500. So, in simpler terms, the Warren Buffett indicator in terms of Wall Street measures market capitalization versus U.S. GDP. Source, why Warren Buffett is betting against Warren Buffett, seeking alpha, October 24, 2017. Now, the market cap to GDP ratio is about 137%. That's high, very high. When this ratio is around 60%-75%, the market is considered undervalued. When it's about 95%-100%, it's a Goldilocks market. Just right. When it's above 115%, look out, the pot is going to blow. We're at 137% well beyond terminal velocity. The one biggest risk for the stock market in 2018. At a less extreme market for example, one where the Warren Buffett indicator is around 100 or less the risks are easier to identify, count, and classify. But in a situation where this indicator is approaching 140%, it's clear that we're long past the realm of logic. The markets are ignoring all risks while the Dow keeps climbing. Yet, there is one major risk at the macro level that could slam open the doors for a crash. Will the stock market rally end in 2018? The Dow Jones is flying, but the risks of a crash are many and ready to materialize. Donald Trump was elected almost a year ago, at the time of writing. The markets were supposed to have crashed. They did for a few hours. Despite the many protests, marches, and which hunts at the 2016 presidential election has caused, the Dow has gained about 30% since November 8, 2016. The Nasdaq has surged by a similar percentage. In other words, the winds that brought Trump to the White House fueled some $5 trillion into Wall Street's market capitalization. How much more energy can this already remarkable and improbable rally have? 
chances are the rally will taper off. It could do this gradually or with a bang that is, a crash. Will the next stock market crash strike in 2018? What on earth could be responsible for such optimism? After all, the oft-repeated adage that Trump's tax cuts have been feeding the bulls on Wall Street has run its course. The tax cuts have not been approved and with the divide in Congress a divide also within Republicans themselves there's little chance of the major reductions occurring. Moreover, the U.S. debt now exceeds $20 trillion. No expert prediction or technical indicator is necessary. The makings of the next crash are already clear. Whether it's Janet Yellen or Jerome Powell who will head the Federal Reserve after February 2018, interest rates can only move higher. At the current rate of debt, even 100 basis points 1% higher interest will mean $200 billion in additional not all, mind you, just the extra bit in debt. How does this affect the stock market? Could it cause another Black Monday? The answers are rather direct. Yes and yes. If there is anything you can bet on in 2018 or even in this latter part of 2017, it's that a major market correction such as what happened on October 19, 1987 that is, Black Monday looks likely. On Black Monday, the markets were a bit different than today. That's the explanation that many market optimists like to offer when they explain why another Black Monday can't happen. That is, the market cannot lose some 23% of its value in a single trading session. They might be right, but in the opposite direction. The markets now have human as well as computer input through so-called robot trading. They have more variables and are more complicated. But information and risks travel much faster. If anything, the risks of a major market crash are higher today. The price to earnings P /E ratio now is around 20 times. In many cases, for some of the star stocks of 2017, the P /E ratio is completely different. The P slash E ratio for Tesla Inc. Nasdaq, Tesla, for instance, in 2018 is minus 411.37. Indeed, Tesla's performance has all the makings of a stock market crash chart to reflect the irrational exuberance of 2018. Investors have pushed Tesla's stock market valuation to such a degree that it has infected the healthiest hedge fund. It's a one stock Black Monday warning. Note the Tesla stock market chart. It's moving on hope and expectations alone. Every time the quarter results are released, the stock tends to drop. We're past Black Monday. The situation is more dramatic. It's beyond Black Monday. The next stock market crash will combine the effects of Black Monday with the tech bubble of 1999 to 2000 and the recession that resulted from the crash of 2007 to 2008. The Shiller Cape Ratio which measures a stock's performance by comparing its price against earnings over a 10-year period, has reached the very point when Alan Greenspan pronounced his famous irrational exuberance speech. The Shiller Cape Ratio now stands at just over 31. It was only higher before 1929 and the dot-com bubble. It's time to fasten your seat belts. The market right is going to get bumpy. But in the dot-com 1990s, there was some real economic growth. Now, one of the indicators of overall economic health, the retail sector, is falling apart. The number of major store chains shutting down or downsizing is remarkable. One of the latest to fall is Toys R Us. Some may find consolation in the fact that one of the reasons for the crumbling of traditional brick and mortar stores, but by no means the only one has been Amazon.com, Incorporated, Nasdaq, Amazon. But the day could come when even this giant is slain. Thus, when you combine factors like irrational exuberance, the Warren Buffett indicator, and signals from the real economy, you realize this. All that separates the markets from a major crash is a single spark. The pair is ready. Two thousand twelve and the second quarter of two thousand seventeen, S and P five hundred companies spent a little over two point seven trillion dollars on buybacks. The trillion figure is not a misprint. How significant is two point seven trillion dollars? This is similar to the gross domestic product GDP of the United Kingdom.
Now, interest rates are increasing. Will the companies continue to buy their own stocks like they have been over the past five years or so? It wouldn't be shocking if companies reduce their spending on buybacks. With all this said, remember that if stock buybacks decline, major buyers will suddenly be out of the market. This could make a lot of investors worried and we could see losses. Investors' euphoria continues to soar. As markets continue to soar, investor euphoria keeps on climbing. Mind you, euphoria is one of the best indicators of an upcoming stock market crash. Just look at the chart below. It plots the percentage of bullish respondents from the American Association of Individual Investors Investors. Stock market crash, three factors making a strong case for sell-off in 2018. This is why a stock market crash could be ahead. Warning, don't get too complacent with soaring key stock indices. A stock market crash remains a possibility for 2018. There are three things investors need to keep in mind going into 2018, stock buybacks, investors' euphoria, and price escalation. S&P 500 companies buy immense amounts of their own shares. You see, over the past few years, there has been an invisible hand that has been supporting the stock markets. Stock buybacks by the companies on the key stock indices. Thanks to low interest rates, companies were able to borrow money and buy their own stocks. Consider this, for example, between the second quarter of 2000 sentiment survey. In the last decade, investors have never been as bullish on stocks as they are now. In the most recent survey, 59.8% of all respondents said they were bullish on the stock market. The last time this figure was this high was back in 2003. Extreme price escalation on key stock indices. Look at the price action on the markets, too. We are seeing them increase way too quickly. This has been mentioned here before. It's usually the last phase of the bull market when there's a rapid move to the upside. Consider the Dow Jones Industrial Average chart below. There are two things to notice here. First, the trend on the Dow between 2009 and 2016 was very gradual. Since early 2016, it has just taken off. The index increased 9,000 points between 2016 and now an extremely quick rise relative to historical performance. Second, between January 2016 and December 2017, there were 19, if you are one of millions of people who have investments, here's something all too real and scary to rob you of your sleep. This Warren Buffett indicator predicts a stock market crash in 2018. You might be wondering if we've endured one too many ghost apparitions. To suggest that no less than Warren Buffett, whose net worth is north of $80 billion, expects the market to reverse its bullish course seems not just scary, it seems silly. But Warren Buffett's predictions for 2018 call for at least a market correction if not an outright crash. A famous Warren Buffett motto that applies to investing is that investors should be greedy when others are fearful and fearful when others are greedy. Only unbridled and most likely irresponsible, euphoria has been driving the Dow to exceed 23,300 points in these last few weeks of 2017. According to Buffett's motto, a majority of investors are all but fearful. They are positively ravenous with greed. Therefore, this is no time for the wise to be only four months when the Dow Jones Industrial Average declined. This says there's really no resistance. What's ahead for the stock market? I completely understand that any talk of a stock market crash at this point, when key stock indices are soaring, sounds outright irrational. But, as I said earlier, don't get too complacent. Dear reader, I continue to ask one question, could the Dow Jones Industrial Average double in the next eight years? Sadly, I don't see it happening. Before there's a massive rally, we could see a stock market crash. As I see it, this is not the time to get bullish on stocks. Rather, it's time to get cautious, step back a little, and reflect on what is happening. Warren Buffett indicator predicts stock market crash in 2018. On October 31st, Halloween, 
children and adults alike enjoy playing with the frightful themes of death surrounding the feast's mixture of Christian All Saints Day and Celtic pagan origins. But, in 2017,